Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I am going to be doing a general video. There we go. We could call it a vlog, but we're not going to. It's going to involve... I wrote this down. I wrote this down to remember because I am that age. <sighs> What's it going to involve? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, what am I currently reading? So, as many of you know, as none of you know, as some of you know, if anybody watch any... no. If anyone watched a video in the past of mine, you probably saw this book. If you didn't, well, it's Gates of Eden by Ethan Cohen. I'm currently 112 pages into this book. I've read two stories. Yeah. After I finished Winter, I read The Bloody Chamber and Other Stories by Angela Carter. And then I read Public Library and other stories by Ali Smith. And then I started Gates of Eden, which is a collection of his short stories. And I already read the first two um, before I was reading Winter. And they are incredibly stylistic of the Coen brothers. The next one, what was it called? Wait, no. I can remember that one. And we're not going to fool ourselves into trying to say that name. A 60s gang who aren't the best gang on the streets, and I actually found it quite humorous. And then we had the fourth story, which was actually a script, kind of like the um, 1950s Raymond Chandler type films, you know, The Big Sleep. Well, they were books, weren't they? They were books! Film noir, I think? Maybe? I don't know. We're not going for genres. Anyway, I'm hoping to finish this book before the end of November. So I'm only 40 pages into Tender Morsels by Margot Lanigan, but I've had it for that long that I really think that I should read it, and with the fairy tale retellings I've been reading, I thought that it was only best, and anyway, it's quite good. I gave the Brides of Roll Rock Island away at some point this year, because I decided I was no longer going to continue my Selkie stories, therefore I didn't need to read that one. My copy came extremely tatty from Amazon and it really put me off reading, even though it shouldn't, but I'm one of those people. Anyway, not going to read Brides of Royal Rock Island, hoping that Tender Morsels is as good as a YouTuber said in the past, if I could remember who, that'd be great, but anyway, I'm hoping to finish this book as well. There are other books on my reading list to read this month, but I didn't do a to be read list th th this this month either, so it's not gonna happen at all this month. You're just gonna get a video telling you all of the books I read, and hopefully it won't constrain me too much this month. Anyway, I have some events! Some very good events before the end of this year, so I am going to tell you about them. I should have brought the books upstairs to show you what they were going to be. Anyway, if you are looking for Christmas presents this year and you would like to help an independent author who is currently struggling for money, me, uh, then you could come to King Edward Street Chapel, Macclesfield this Sunday where myself, Margaret Holbrook and Phil Poyser, two other local independent writers, will be selling our books. I will be selling our Doris. Margaret will be selling her four or five books, so let's count them. Watching Another Stories, Cul-de-sac Tales, Hobby Horses Will Dance, Picking the Bones, and Hurricane Jess. And Phil Poyser will be there with his poetry collection, Eric Bloodaxe, which is brilliant. All of these books are brilliant, especially mine. Um, and Phil's book... Phil is releasing a second book sometime soon, once we get all of the details finished for it, so that's something to look forward to as well. I will be reading to a WI as the Christmas Entertainment. Now, you can't come to that one, but I just want to brag because it's the first time. It's the first time I'm reading outside of a library, so there's that. And then we're going back to our roots and we're going to be reading at Sandbach Library on the 14th of December from 2 o'clock till 3, I believe it is. And I will be reading the Christmas story from Our Doris. And I am very excited about this because I've been waiting six months to read this story. Honestly. The entire time I was writing this book, I was thinking about writing the Christmas story. And then I wrote my own Christmas story in there. And I write a Christmas story for Doris most years because you know something? I love Christmas. And it's coming closer and I'm getting very excited about it and I'm also getting excited about the fact that I get to read The Last Waltz. Also hopefully there will be some 
Um, what will there be? There will be some um, book signings at local charity shops, but I will let you know more about that closer to the time, and then at the end of the month, on the 20th of December, which is the Sunday before Christmas, you can come to King Edward Street Chapel again, and you can buy the book before yeah, you know, before Christmas. There are people who want to read this book for Christmas. It's very, it's very good. All these books are very good. Anyway, this time you get free bookmarks because I actually finally figured out how to make them. It's taken me a long time, but I figured it out. I, I had to ask for a lot of help for the bookmarks. I'm not very good with anything on Microsoft Word or the computer that doesn't involve just typing. You wouldn't know to know me. And finally, an announcement for Doris. This Friday, starting on this channel, I will be serialising our Doris. You will get a photograph taken by Jill Wash, a great friend of mine, and you will be able to hear our Doris each Friday as she was meant to be heard. Um, for ten weeks, meaning that the Christmas monologue is actually going to be on Christmas Day this year, which I am looking forward to immensely. And there's going to be another announcement on Friday, um, or Sunday, I'm not sure yet, but it's going to be relating to Doris and me being extremely generous um, for Christmas, because I like Christmas. Christmas is coming, this goose already got fat, and until next time, that is all.